I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I like to call this exercise random pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. When you first get those random tiles, it can feel a little overwhelming, especially if you feel that you don't have a direction. But I assure you, there's always something to work with. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just wanna build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this three times. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. I'll get 14 tiles, 13 tiles, and then 14 tiles. Flower, West, one, two, six in bams. One, two, five, six in cracks, pair six. Three, seven, nine in dots, pair seven. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd start with six, seven. Those are consecutive, so we would focus on consecutive run, multiples. So then I would look at the rest of my tiles I rarely pass flowers, so I would keep that. For these, I would keep the five and the six. And we don't look at the card. We just keep supporting tiles for any consecutive numbers around these multiples. If we get a four, we'll keep it. If we get an eight, we could even keep that. Four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight would be ideal. Then we would pass these. We're focused on six, seven. For my first pass, I would probably split out the twos and the ones so we're not left with like numbers for another pass, just in case we get everything we want. If these were your tiles and you would do something differently, write pull one in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. Hung of Dragons. One, two, four, nine in cracks. One, two, three in dots. One, two, four in uh, bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start right there. And then I would look at the rest of these tiles and keep tiles that we can use for this. Maybe we could play one through four dragon, one suit. Maybe we could play something in mixed suits, one through four dragon. We have options. We could use these or these. The other thing I was thinking is like numbers with twos. Since we can't keep it all and we have to pass three, I think what I would do is keep the three, two, three, maybe even keep, let's see, with a red dragon pair or pong, that's a pong. One, two, three, pass those, one, two, three, one, two, four, dragon. Let those go. If you would have done something differently here, write pull two in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. Joker, flower, dragons, a west, two, four, pung in bams, 
two, five, eight, and cracks and a pair of ones. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? When I first looked at these tiles, I thought two, four, six, eight, but we have no six. We have an eight and a two, four. So maybe I would keep the eight. Then I thought, okay, we have a pair of ones. What about one, two, three, four? We wouldn't use this two, but a two dot and a three bam, we could maybe use. Then I thought, what about a quint right here? West, one, four, random. So I think I would start there. I always keep flowers, at least for a while. So probably I would pass those three. Potential quint, no fear. If you would do something differently, write pull three in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. When you first get your dealt hand, look for the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand will either start with a multiple, pair pung kong, gather supporting tiles and play a category that uses most of your tiles. That is the best strength to start with. If you don't have multiples, there still will be strength in your hand and that will be with the predominant pattern. The predominant pattern will match a category on the card. Choose a category that uses most of your tiles and then during the Charleston, if a multiple would form, then you reassess and target the multiple. So when you first look at that dealt hand, plan with the end in mind, target multiples. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.